Hello everybody and welcome back to this video on Vital Linux. So in this one I'm going to be showing you an application called Resetter. And what this is going to allow you to do is reset your Debian or Ubuntu based distribution back to the factory defaults. Now this is really handy if you want to reset your computer back to stock without having to manually reinstall the distribution by using a live USB or CD. So let's get into the download and installation. Okay, so the first thing you want to do is open up a web browser. I'll be using Firefox right now. And from here, you want to go to the webpage github.com slash gaming slash resetter. So this is the GitHub page of resetter. And I said that it supports Ubuntu and Debian based distribution, but it officially supports Linux Mint 17.3 and above, Ubuntu 14.04 and above, Elementary OS 0.4 and above, and Deepin OS 15.4 and above. Now it does say here that Ubuntu 17.10 is not supported at the moment, but if you go up to the status section, it says that version 1.1.2 adds support for Ubuntu 17.10. So I'm just gonna assume that it does work. So we can see here that the installation commands are right here. But the first thing that we're going to want to do is download the .deb files from this link right here. So you can just click that and download the latest version. And you want to download both the key and the actual package. So let me just download both of these. You can just save them wherever you want. And same with this one. And you can see that they are saved to my downloads folder. Great. So we can go back and open up a terminal and run those commands. So the first thing that you're going to want to install is GDBI if you don't already have that. So you can just hit that, enter your root password, and it should install. And next, you're going to want to navigate over to the folder where you downloaded the two .deb files. So in my case, it is in the downloads folder, so I'll just go to CD downloads, and you can see that the two files are right here. So the second command is sudo gdbi and then add apt key and the name of that file right there. So we can just hit that, click Y or hit Y. And finally, we can install the actual application. And it should be installed. So if you go over to our application finder and just type resetter, we can see that it's right here. Okay, now we can move on to the next section. So we are now ready to start using Resetter. So if you go into your applications menu and try to access Resetter this way, it might give you an error saying that you need to be root to run this program. So there's an easy way to fix that, just you can just run sudo resetter from the terminal. So let's do just that, sudo resetter. Enter your root password. And when that runs, you'll be greeted with this interface. So right from the top, you can see there's a menu bar with some options here and three different reset options, easy install, automatic reset, and custom reset. Now I'll be going over all these, but first let me just go over to the file menu and you can see right here that there's an option called open manifest. Now these are the different manifests that are, and they have essentially the applications that should be installed with stock. Now it should automatically detect which system you're running. It detected that I'm running Artful Art of Arc 1710, so that's right. But if it doesn't, then you can always just change that manifest. So make sure you do that before you do any resets. You can also change some view options. And there's also a tools menu. And here there's an option called Easy PPA. Now what this will let you do is quickly install an application. Let me just uh, show you Kden Live, quick editor, and hit search. And you can see that it found eight results, the different branches of it. And this, this is a very user-friendly interface that will let you install certain packages. So if you're kind of a new user and want to easily install packages, then this is a way to do that within Resetter, which is kind of handy. And there's also another option called Edit Sources, and from here you can just edit the sources that this application is pulling from. So let's look at the three options now. So what Easy Install will do is it will let you quickly install or batch install a number of applications. You know, I can just, I can do like Blender and why not Kden Live. 
and we can just add these applications here and quickly install them. So this is kind of like easy PPA, but it'll let you do this. And if you have a backup in the form of a .rbf file, then you can quickly open that up and quickly install all the applications. So this is good if you've just reset your computer and want to quickly install applications. So the next option is automatic reset. And according to the website, what this will do is auto move apps for reset, delete users and home directories, create a default backup user, auto install MPIAs, and remove non-default users. And it'll also remove no snap packages. So this is just a quick way to reset everything. And let's just hit yes and see what happens here. So it'll tell us what packages we want to remove. I have these packages installed currently, some icon themes and tweaking tools, okay. And we get this nice dialog here that shows us what's going on. So you can see right now that it's it just loaded up the packages. It's now currently removing the packages and it's now finished. So you can see that it gave us these user credentials to use next time we log in. So the username is default and the password is new life three exclamation mark. You might wanna you know write these down somewhere so that you can actually log into your system. Then we can click okay and it'll ask us to reboot. We hit yes and we'll see what happens. So Ubuntu has fully booted back up now and you can see that our user is here now, default. And if I remember correctly, the password was new life three with an exclamation mark. So let's try that. Okay, it looks like it's logging in. And here is our desktop. So I can see that like everything is back to stock. My wallpaper has been reset. The icons are back here and the icon theme that was applied before is gone. I also installed GNOME Tweak Tool before this and you can see that that is also gone. So it really did reset the computer back to stock. Finally, I'll be testing the third option here, which is custom reset. So let me click on that. And we can see here that it asks which user installed packages on remove, so I'll just select all. And we also have the option to remove old kernels, which I'll do as well. Click next. And now these are the pre-installed packages that are missing from your system. You can see here that I have none, but if you did remove a system package, then this application will know that you did that from the manifest. So we just hit next. And you can also remove your local user, so I'll do that too. Let's delete the user and delete the user and home directory. Next. And just hit finish. So it gives you the option to set your own account. I'll hit yes. And I guess these are the settings for the user that will be created when I log in. So I'll just, you know, put the same thing here. Or actually I'll do something different so we know that it actually worked. I'll do BOL and then a password and then hit OK. And we can see that it is removing the packages currently. So the changes have finished applying. And just like last time, it gave a dialog showing the username and password for the user that you created. So I'll hit yes to reboot now. Ubuntu has finished booting up. And yet again, it looks like the application worked well. So let me enter in my password and see that we boot into the desktop. Great, it worked. So to sum up, Resetter is a very useful application that will reset your Ubuntu or Debian based distribution back to the factory defaults. Some things that will do is that it will, you know, remove packages, remove users, and remove your local and home directories and much more. Just make sure that you use this tool with caution as it can delete some important files. So make sure you have a backup of everything before you go and reset something. But other than that, I'll definitely be using this application on my Ubuntu computers to reset them if I ever need to. So everyone, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like button, comment down below about your thoughts, and subscribe for more awesome Linux videos like these. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.